I've got Disney's Frozen one, not two. Ah, babysitting Cam. I'm still monitoring her, but she's having her breakfast. She's watching a movie and we get to play around with makeup. And these are all products that I've received, but I haven't actually played around with I, the primer. I've played around with the primer, but I've just added to a bin and have not played with. Like that's odd, right? And then Benefit sent me their monthly box. It's not a, like a subscription box or anything like that, but they send a monthly box with some goodies so that I can play around with. They replenish me and that kind of thing. And I didn't open that either, which is cray. Going to open, oh my lord. Oh my lord. Backups, they stocked me up. So the fluff up, the highbrow pencil which this one might actually be the one that I need. Brow setter, pomade, gimme brow plus, the microblading pen, the goof proof powder, which you guys know I'm obsessed with and their pomade, I love all their brow products. I mean you guys, my precisely my brow, give me brow, goof proof pencil, which I have right here. I think we'll use today, let's switch it up. I'm gonna use the one that I already have. Okay, so all of these things are backups. I already have them open, so I'm gonna set this to the side. Nothing new out of here we will use today because that's everything is there. I'm gonna use this face cream by Dr. Barbara Sturm. Stur Sturm. Sturm. It says it's made in Germany. Molecular Cosmetics. Are you guys familiar with this brand? Have you tried the brand before? Give me your feedback because me, huh? I'm just like sometimes getting stuff and I don't even know where it came from. Grateful though, but I'm like, kick ow. It's hard to get in. It doesn't smell like anything. It is so hard to get in. So, you know what? I'm just gonna dip into her like these. Oh, I might have picked up too much. Let me do one of these. I'm like so excited with this new chair. I filmed a reel building it. It's not live, so I feel like I might do that today, but oh my God, I love this freaking chair. It has no armrests. The bottom, like the part that you sit on is wide enough for my big butt. Like. I have thighs, like, you know, I've got hips, I've got thighs, I've got a butt. I'm so much smaller up here. That's the whole thing with PCOS. So much smaller, waist up and then um, hips down. It's like, I love this freaking chair. I'm able to crisscross applesauce whenever I want to. And my back is feeling amazing. By the way, someone told me to do Voltaren and cold compresses. I think that's how you call it, Voltaren. Voltaren. Oh, wait a minute. My hands are greasy. They feel greasy, like everything is slip and slidey. Anyway, so it was suggested by one of you guys. I use Voltaren and fluctuate with cold compresses, which Rhonda told me to do the cold compresses. And girl, mm -hmm. girl. My sister's like a walking CVS. You ask her, she has everything, which is a blessing. And I asked her, hey, do you happen to have Voltaren? She believed she did. She goes searching for it. Can't find it, but what she did find was something called Asper Cream, which I've seen commercials on. She was like, hey, this is the closest I have to that. It might actually work. When I tell you that Asper Cream worked instantly, I applied it before going to bed, and when I woke up in the morning, I no longer felt the pinched nerve. Yes, I did the Asper Cream and the cold compresses together. Whatever inflammation was there was gone. It's like amazing. Then I'm gonna just kind of lightly do one of these and blend that out because we don't want it to be too harsh at the beginning. I'll tell you, when it comes to me and Juan, between me and my husband, I'm the wacky one. I'm the one that's all over the freaking place doing the most and putting my body through it. It's insane how we take our bodies for granted because I sat here in pain for weeks at a time. Wait a minute, I think we're gonna go into the benefit box because what I don't have is the highbrow duo in the proper shade. What they sent me before was the one that had a lot of pink in it. They sent over the rich caramel and warm bronze. I'm thinking this might work. Are you gonna work? Ooh, no, that's too dark for me. What is going, I need, I need a yellow. No, okay, we're gonna close you right back up. You go to my mother-in-law, she's gonna love you. It's cool, we'll go in with um, concealer. I'm gonna do the Smashbox mattifying primer. It is a control primer, like an oil control primer. I'm gonna do that much. I've only used this primer a handful of times. I really, really like it. I've been taking my body for granted. I throw myself on the floor all the time playing with the kids. Listen, 
Right? Some people sometimes don't believe it, which I don't understand why. I am carrying the body of a 37 year old. In most cases, that's not an issue, right? If you're an active person, you're healthy, you work out, you stretch, you do all of those things. You eat a lot of vegetables, a lot of fiber, a lot of what your body needs. I don't do half of that. Do I abuse my body? Yes. Yes, I do. So at this point, my body is saying, girl, cut it out. I'm gonna go in with my Give Me Brow Plus in number six, but I'm gonna remove a lot of the product and I'm gonna comb this baby through. It might look a little thicker than I want at the beginning, but once I cut my brows out and shape them with concealer, it'll be fine. There are items that are not new that are going on my face, so I'm gonna skip filming those because if you guys seen me play with them before, it is gonna be the Cover FX Power Play Foundation. Cam is having a blast out there. Uh, in G60, the Perfect Cover Concealer by Ofra Cosmetics in Medium Golden. I'm gonna set that with my Banana Brightening Powder. My bronzer will be the Vesca Bronzer, and then I'll use one of the Ofra Pro Palette blushes because they're freaking fantabulous. I think for today, I'm gonna mix these two together because they're beautiful. And I know you guys like watching me apply this product, but this video would be way too freaking long. And the truth of the matter is, I really wanna play around with the new stuff. And I wanna give you guys first impressions on the new stuff. So I'll be right back. So far here are my thoughts. This cream is actually really good. I had a very small dry patch here because of hormones. I've been slightly greasy in certain areas. So this here hydrated the skin, but really hydrated that patch. And it, you can't even tell. I have a little breakout down here, but you can't even tell that dry patch is down here. I was able to apply a mattifying primer all over the skin to really control whatever is, go I'm gonna show you my lids right now. You're gonna be like, wow, that's greasy. We're going through something, okay? But the skin looks great. The mattifying primer did its job. The face cream is hydrating enough to where it did its job, but it didn't clash with anything else that I applied on top of it. Everything looks seamless. It freaking looks airbrushed. So I'm not mad at it. It's looking really good. I'm gonna show you guys my lids, okay? Look, do you see how great, and I washed my face. Why are they so shiny? Jonas? I don't know. Well, hormones, you know, when I flow visit, I flow visits. Because my lids are very greasy, I could put the Smashbox always on cream shadow to the test. This is supposed to last uh, 16 hours without creasing. I don't know about these uh, lids today, but we're gonna we're gonna go with this. Keep her simple. This is in the shade guava. I'm gonna grab. Hold on. I need a I need a brush. I'm going to squeeze some on here. I'm gonna work it through. This is gonna be like a one color look, and then I'm gonna blend it out. <laughs> if this doesn't work, I'm gonna be mad because I'm actually going somewhere. Hold on, I'm not done. Let me just kind of do the other side. And you guys saw, I didn't wipe. It's still wet here. I haven't wiped my lids. They're still greasy. Maybe I should have wiped it, and it, it, that, that'll cause this to be an epic fail. Do you know what I'm saying? But we're figuring this out together. So far, I mean, it's matte. It looks good. Whatever's left, I will drag on the bottom. I would love this product, but in a bronzy shade. You know what? I'll use a clean brush. Let's give this baby the benefit of the doubt. Okay, even though it's pretty much set because I feel it dry, it's blending. It takes a little longer to blend, but it's doing it. Next, I'm going to apply a small wing. It is the Waterproof Liquid Liner by KVD. KVD, because they've changed their name a few times, I don't even know anymore. It's by KVD. I'm gonna do one of these, not that you really need to, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna bring my mirror even closer because you yeah, know. I've loved this forever. It has a paint brush tip, so it's going to do the trick. Just do the littlest, slimmest, thinnest line out here. And then a baby triangle. And then I'll go into the lash line and connect all of that. 
I mean, there's not much to say about the liner other than I really, really like it. It's actually really good, and then that's it. But here are first impressions on these two Smashbox products. I know I smushed it. Um, so this is the Photo Finish Extension Nourishing Lash Primer, and it's supposed to go on white. It's supposed to build your lashes to look amazing with the mascara. So I am going to apply this on the top and hope for the best. And then at that, the bottom, Always gets dramatic, so I wanna see if it makes a difference at the bottom. So far, I'm okay with the guava eyeshadow. I think it's doing the trick, like it's there, it's matte. My lids were already oily, and somehow, it's still matte. And it hasn't started falling apart or breaking up as an eyeshadow, so I'm not mad at that. We're gonna go ahead and apply some of this at the bottom. They sent over the Super Fanned Out. It is their Super Fanned Out Mascara. It's supposed to have 12 hour wear. And it's supposed to like do the most for my lashes. I'll just do the one layer and see how that works. Let's do the bottom first. It's been such a long time since I've used a lash primer. My bottom lashes don't look bad. They actually look really good. Let's work on the top because I want to get rid of this white stuff. Why are my lashes clumping up? You see that? And I like that. Hold on. I gotta try to work to separate them because they're looking clumpy, but if I separate them, it actually looks good. You have to put a little more work into it because obviously you have a base, so it's going to look kind of spidery at first. If you don't like that spidery look like me, then you're really gonna have to work on your mascara application and separating the lashes. They're like lash combs that you can purchase and or use to separate your lashes. But they look really, really dark, they look thicker, and they're definitely looking longer. I do have some decent lashes on their own, so I would like to try it without the primer and see how that works out. I'm gonna go ahead and remove my lip balm. Do you see my cracked lips? Ugh. When I moved to Florida, it was one of those things like, I got away from the cold, but I ended up getting really, really dry lips for some reason. And yeah, it kinda sucks <laughs> to have dry lips, but I'll take dry lips over cold weather, snow, ice, all of that. So I think it's a fair trade-off because I can just like really hydrate them and call it a day. They won't look as pretty, but once you put lipstick on, who cares, right? The last item I'm going to try is this Melt Cosmetics lipstick in the shade Zaddy, which I got in a mystery box and I never even like tried tried. That right there is the color. She is very pale, I know. We are going to line our lips. I'm gonna use the Persona 90210 lip liner. I'm gonna apply Zaddy on the center. Look at that color. If I were to apply it on its own, it would not look good. Like what is going on? But we are going to ombre her out and she's gonna look fantabulous. It's a very pretty shade for sure. So I'm gonna do one of these and then I'll go in with 90210 along the perimeter. And then I'm gonna go with a super tiny brush and I'll blend the edge of that lip liner to feather it in to add that gradient. But I'm gonna leave the center nice and bright cause it just works. That is very moisturizing by the way, like it feels nice and soft, it's like soft, soft. I actually like that formula like a lot. Wow, we went through this really fast, but I wanna hear you guys' thoughts. I told you what I think. So far, everything was pretty much worth trying for sure. The only thing, again, I would kinda swap on would be the mascara and try the mascara without the primer. But I wanna hear what you guys think. Have you tried any of these products? And what do you guys think about this cream eyeshadow? I think it looked good just on its own. It's very simple, it was easy to actually use. And next week, I have something to share with you guys, so be ready for that. That. I'm actually freaking out over it very very nervous so be ready for that and yeah if you guys enjoy this kind of videos where I'm reviewing new products trying products on giving you tips and tricks as a makeup artist then I have playlists available for you that I know you're going to absolutely enjoy I'm gonna recommend to here on screen I'm hoping you'll check out and I'll see you guys on the next video bye guys